Okay, this video is going to help you to round some simple numbers to the nearest 10 or 100, numbers like that. Um, and um, I think there's sort of a, a basic method to begin with that you can uh, try, which is based on number lines, and you can see an example here. Um, and then there's going to be um, this sort of, uh, the idea of this rule where you look at the next digit. But we're going to start off um, just by looking at some really simple examples. So the first question, rounding 3,254 to the nearest 100. And what I do is I put um, the two nearest hundreds to my number either side, like this. So if you work downwards, it would be 3,200, and the next one up would be 3,300. Those are the two nearest whole number of hundreds, if you like. OK. Um, and then what we've got in the middle here is a line representing halfway and I've put the number we've been asked to round, this 3254, I've put it on the number line in the appropriate place and you should be able to see that 3254 is now closer to and therefore it rounds to 3300. Basically if the number is on this side here of the dividing line, of the halfway line, then you're going to round up. If the number is on this side here, then you're going to round down. Rounding is all about what's the closest number that's uh, sort of been given to you. So you're rounded to the nearest hundred, so we look for what's the closest hundred to 3,254. And the answer is 3,300. It's closer than 3,200. If we have a look at this second question, OK, this one is about rounding to the nearest 10. So what I've done is I've put my two closest 10s, so 738. I think, right, if I went down a bit, I would get to 730. And if I went up a bit, I would get to 740. Uh, so I put those two on a number line. I've put the middle line in here, 735. And then I've marked my position, 738 is there. And you can see quite clearly it's closer to 740. This is a long way from 730. It's closer to 740. So we would say that 738 rounds to 740 to the nearest 10. What happens when you've got a question like this? OK, uh, 455 rounded to the nearest 10. And here you can see, if I go down a bit, I get to 450. The next 10 up is 460. So somewhere in between those two is this number 455, and actually it's slap bang in the middle. It's right in the middle. The distance here to 460 and the distance here to 450 are exactly the same. And therefore we've got a problem. We've got a problem because rounding really is asking us what's the nearest whole 10 to 455. And there isn't an answer to that because it's equally um, equidistant between the two. Um, the distance to each of those tens is the same. And therefore what we have to do is we have to just come up with a rule. The mathematicians did this ages and ages and ages ago. They just said, right, we are going to decide that the way we deal with this is we round up. Okay? Just so that there's no ambiguity, so that no people are making rounding mistakes. We're just going to say, right, here's a rule. If it's exactly halfway between, we're going to round up. So the rule for this one when it's exactly halfway between the two numbers is we're going to round up and if I rounded 455 to the nearest 10 I would go up to 460. Okay and last of all it's question D. Okay hopefully you can see that 872 rounded to the nearest 10 uh, is going to be closer to 870. That distance there is less. So this is an example where we would round downwards, 872 rounds to 870 to the nearest 10. OK, well, we don't want to go around drawing number lines forever. OK, we want to have a, a decent rule, a quick rule that we can use um, in order to be able to spot whether it's going to be rounded up to the next 100 or down to the next 100, or if you're rounding to the nearest 10, up or down to the nearest 10. So I'm going to take those three Four examples, 3,254, which had to go to the nearest 100, 
we had 738 which had to go to the nearest 10 455 to the nearest 10 and then we had last of all 872 to the nearest 10 so what you want to do for this look, is you want to basically look at what you're rounding to to the nearest 100 means that you need to look in the hundreds column here okay this is the hundreds column it goes thousands hundreds tens units so if we're rounding to the nearest hundred you need to look in the hundreds column okay and so you need to think to yourself right this is basically 3200 or 3300 okay which one is it the way you tell is you look at the next digit along and if it's five or more you round up so I'm doing this example I've got my hundreds I've said right 3200 or 3300 and I look at the next digit it's a five so I'm going to round up and the answer I'm selecting is 3,300. Okay, let's try and apply that rule to these next ones. This one says round to the nearest 10. So I need to look in the tens column. That's here. Okay, so I'm looking in the tens and I'm thinking, right, well that says 730. Or do I need to round up to make 740? what I do is I look at the next column and if it's five or more I round up in this case it's an eight so I round up and I use the 740 I don't round down to 730 I round up to 740 this next one again rounding to the nearest ten so I look in the tens column, I say, right, this is 450, or it might be 460. How do I know? I look at the next digit, which is a five or more, so I round up. So I'm going to choose 460 as my answer for that one. And on this last one, again, rounding to the nearest ten, so I look in the tens column, there it is. I say to myself, is it 870 or is it 880? And then I look in the next column. If it's a 5 or more, I round up. But because it's not a 5 or more, I'm going to keep the number, in fact, I'm going to sort of round down to 870. So you only use the top number if the next digit is 5 or more. Now, that is a sort of shorter way that you can do it, but a bit more complicated. So, you know, if you're um, not sure about it, there is absolutely no problem in just always writing or drawing a number line and just checking for yourself. Is it closer to one or is it closer to the other?